So, hello and welcome to my first YouTube build. Today we're going to be building a Diatone uh, White Sheep Quadcopter. And uh, I'm going to take you through the whole process, starting with the components, and then going right through from the build, and then later on, maybe in a few months, going to the FPV side of things and adding FPV. So, as you can see here, I've got the bits laid out on the table. We've obviously got the Diatone White Sheep frame. We've got some RC timer, 30 amp B heli uh, ESCs. These don't have BECs in them, so they're very, very small, as you can see. And we've got some Sunny Sky 2212s, uh, 980kV. Got the motor mounts for that, uh, the prop mounts for them, but I've also got counterclockwise prop mounts, so uh, you don't have to worry about over tightening your props. And uh, we've got some RC timer 9x5 props, two of each, of course. So, first of all, I'm gonna um, do a bit of changes to the uh, APM. Uh, power module because I'm going to be using APM on this for the GPS and the position hold so I'm just going to do some changes the uh, the wires are a bit big for my for my use so I'm going to put some smaller ones on so I'm just gonna maybe do one ESC and then one motor and then just fast forward the rest and then I'll show you the bits that I think you need to see so enjoy so if we have a look with the power module, um, I want to basically let it sit about here so that when the battery is sat in here and connecting nicely um, but the problem is with the day turn frame the actual battery connections are here um, and as you can see when you sit the battery on they get covered up so basically what I want to do is make the power module supply power to the front left motor uh, but to do that the wires were a bit short so basically I'm going to extend them so I've already made up some wires here but what I'll do is I'll just show you what I did uh, first so obviously cut them to size clamp or helping hands are good when you're soldering take your soldering iron wipe it off on a damp sponge basically the idea is just to heat heat the wire heat the wire and then let the solder run in so just keep heating the wire and eventually you'll see the solder start flowing into the wire do it again for you here just touch on I found this silicone wire it is actually quite hard to get it to take the get to wick the solder up but if you just keep heating it you'll eventually see it you'll see it start wicking it and then you know you're good to go so you want to get a good coating on make sure all the all the wires are stuck together all the little fiber, uh, fibers of wire so basically now I've desoldered, I've desoldered these connections already um, all I did was just heat, heat, the, heat the connections up Make sure they're very hot. Um, don't pull. Let the soldering iron do all the work. So now we're gonna fit this, put this negative wire back on. So I'll show you this one, and then I'll just do the positive one uh, on fast forward. Don't want to bore you. So, make sure you get everything nice and hot first. You'll see, you'll see when everything's hot because the solder will like flow into position. I 
There you go. So I'll flip it over, do the other side. So, that's it. So, the next job is to solder the ESCs onto the power distribution bottom board. I'm going to put a piece of board underneath because I don't want to burn my uh, self-healing mat. So same again, we're going to do first couple with you and then I'll just zoom through. So again, heat the pad, give it a nice coating, just like that. Same again with the positive. Take your ESC, they've already been tinned, so they've already got a bit of solder on them basically. So I might get my long nose pliers. So I don't burn my fingers like last time. So here we go again with the, the soldering. And there you go, so we'll zoom through the next ones. So this is a one that is going to need So this is the one that I've got to get the ESC and the power module on all at the same time. So this one might be a bit difficult, but we'll succeed any any way we can. Get a bit more solder out ready. I think I'll put a bit more. A bit more tin on this one to help me out in getting everything stuck together. So we're going to go with the negative first. I'm going to have to try to do this with my fingers. So I'm expecting to get burnt here. Basically line them up in a bit of a T. Just push down.
think that could do with a bit more solder. The wires are just looking a bit dry. So, feeding a bit more solder. Just adjust this angle a bit here for the so that I avoid the positive for when put that one in. Looking quite good that. Next, we're going to fit the power distribution board. So this gives, this takes in the the power from the LiPo, gives out five or twelve volts, depending on what you want. So this is basically to supply power to your APM if you don't have the power module, or to um, FPV cameras using the 12 volts. So we're just going to put a bit of solder on there. Just bridge the gap. And then to bridge the gap, centre it up nicely. The other side. Like that. And then Solder the negative side. That's that. So now I got the ESCs attached, power module attached. The next thing is to attach the LEDs to the base of the copter so you've got one here for an LED space here for an LED basically in your Daytona pack bag you should have an LED strip here and I think there's a white, a red, a green and a blue so, when I've done these before they're a bit delicate so what I like to do is just run the Stanley down the middle a couple of times to make sure that they break along the line. Once you've done that this should just snap out quite easily. So next we need to decide what colour we're using where. So I'm going to just get a battery and power up each one, see what colour we've got. So just got a little cheap lipo here, so I'm just going to put two little uh, battery extension wires on. So I'm just going to go into the balance connector just for ease. So we've got the red. So we'll add the red for the back, so I'll pull out the back. And I think let's have a look what, what do we think the best is. So I'm gonna go for white. No, I think we're gonna go for green. I think that green looks good. So we're gonna go for that. Yep. So I'm going to put that on the front. So there's another thing about this uh, frame as well. So you can see that the LED strip should be placed here. But when you put the battery strap across, what you basically will do is put the battery strap across here. 
so then you can't see the LED. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to extend, I'm going to place double side the LED here and I'm just going to make two wires to connect it up to the to the solder pads basically. I've got some thin black wire here that I was using before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them both black wires just so that it blends in with the frame. So I've just measured the length up, little snip, Stanley, cut the wires to length, bit of tin, quick bit on there, thin wires. They don't need a lot of heat, so you can quickly tin them. So you need a few seconds for thin wires. One done. There you go. So you can see if we actually get anything. We put the power on. So we've got our red LEDs, which is good. I'm gonna do the front now quickly. Shouldn't take long. There you go, so let's try that again. Some power on. Smash in. Oops. So, you've got two LED strips there. Put them away somewhere so you can use them again sometime. So, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.